This is a video request I got from one of our community members. So let's go to Canva and we'll type into the search box generate an academic research poster. These are all what Magic AI generated. You could scroll down to see all that templates they have on the Canva library. All these are you can customize it and use it for us academic research poster but if you don't quite like what you're seeing here i'm going to go to create a design and click on custom design to create our own design one thing i want you to take note of is the unit of measurements if you click down the drop down arrow you'll see pixel inch millimeter and centimeter i will be going with the inch and we will type in 42 by 56 inch I think this is a standard measurement for a portrait research post. I got that from the internet. This is how it looks, but I don't want to use the portrait. I'll go over and switch that over so I can use it in landscape form. So I'll do it by 56 by 42 inch. Then we'll click on create design. So this is what it brought up. Let's go over to the text tab. If you've set your brand kit, you would have the title set, subtitle and body. But I will not be using that. I will add a heading and I will type in academic research poster templates. We will change the fonts to pop ins because that has a variety of things we can choose from. So we'll choose a bold font and we'll leave it at 150. The first thing you want to add is the title of your dissertation and the author's name, which is your name, and your university which I've replaced the title of the dissertation to the academic research poster. Let's add the author's name text box so that I'll leave that as a placeholder. We'll change the font to poppins also, we'll reduce that to semi-bold and we'll leave it at size 90. We'll click on that and duplicate and type in the institution you are affi affiliated with. When designing, make sure to align all your text boxes. Now let's click R on our keyboard to bring the rectangle shape. We can type in the text into it. We'll be using this as our subheading text boxes. We want to maintain the same size across the whole page. This will hold our subheading. Now let's add our body text text box. We want to increase the size to 35 and set the popping font to medium. Your introduction should contain the background and context of the research, objectives of the study, and the importance and relevance of the research topic. You should be able to make that as short as possible so that it can be very interactive when presenting. Now let's duplicate the introduction text box subheading and change that to literature review. You might add this to yours, you might not add it. We we'll also duplicate the body text text box. The literature review will contain the summary of existing literature, theoretical framework, and previous studies and their findings. This is not compulsory that you should add it, but it depends on what you're working on. Now let's duplicate our subheading text box again to add the methodology which is the next subheading under the methodology to contain things like the research design which involves the survey case study the data collection methods the sampling techniques and the data analysis procedure you can choose one to discuss it's not compulsory you use all of them but remember to keep your text as short as possible We'll be adding our text as placeholder and we'll be changing the sub subheadings to red color. Under the methodology, you might want to add some tables, some charts, some survey results to explain your points better. So we'll be going to the apps on Canva here and we'll scroll down and go over to charts to select some of these. We have the bar chart, the line and dotted charts. The interactive chart, the pie chart, the infographics chart, all that, the progression bar, we all have that here. You can click on whichever one you want. Let's pick the pie chart and put that into our design. 
You can format the data at the left hand pane of your screen, add in data as you want, add input your data, change colors, add what you're measuring with, or you could as well upload a CSV file if you have it prepared. And Canva will prepare that with the data you've uploaded. What is good about this is that when presenting on Canva, you can hover around the pie charts and choose what you're talking about, which is quite good for a research presentation. Let's go back and add a line chart. We're just adding this as a placeholder to just show you what it looks like. If you can expand that, add your data, depending on the data analysis you're using in your methodology, whatever you use, that would determine what choice you're going to pick on what you're presenting. You can change the color of your chart to the color of your choice. Remember to keep your text readable and as concise as possible. The next subheading is the result subheading. Under this result subheading, you have things like presentation of key findings, statistical analysis if it's applicable to your research you did. You can also add tables, graph, this is the main place to add your chart, your graph, all that. You go in and customize it how you want it. So either the bar chart, you can change the colors of what you're representing. And you can as well upload a CSV file from your laptop. If you have this data already prepared by another software, maybe you use the Power BI to prepare your data, you can screenshot it and input it into your design. Let's go to the elements tab and pick a random picture of a result and just input it so you see. You might want to add a discussion subheading which under the discussion subheading it contains things like interpretation of your results, comparison with previous studies on implications of findings. It's totally up to you to choose what works for your research study and use it in your design. Now let's add a conclusion subheading. Under the conclusion subheading you have things like this is where you talk about the summary of the study, contributions to the field, future research direction. This is where you will discuss all that. You might want to use charts to drive your points home. We will use a funnel chart as a placeholder for this, which is also customizable by expanding the data panel and imputing your data. You can as well upload a CSV file. Whichever that works for you, just make your presentation as interactive as possible. Or well, we're adding a progress bar. You can use that to show how the progress of your future finding, where you are now and where you want to be in the future. The next subheading we'll add is a reference subheading. This is where you make a list of your citation in a standard format. You might also want to add an acknowledgement subheading where you acknowledge everyone who contributed to the research. The last text box we'll be adding to our design is our contact information where we'll list our email, we'll mention our website if it's applicable to us. We can also leave our social media handles. After you've gotten all the information into the page, you will start to align your text box, your design. If you've noticed, so we maintained only three colors in our design. Now let's click on share on the top right of our screen and go over to present. Let's see what our design will look like. You see, you can hover your mouse around if you're presenting with Canva on your charts to say what it is your the values you're discussing which is a beautiful thing if you're using canva to make your presentation but if you're printing you go right back to the share button and go over to download and select the file type you want to print as and the standard one for print is the pdf for print but there are different file type you can download it as we'll download the normal pdf for sharing for the design, you can also use the magic resize to switch back your design into the portrait format if that's what you want it in. 
let's open the design we resized and see what it looks like you can go back in and start aligning your text properly to be set properly on the page leave your questions in the comment section and like this video if you got value from it thank you so much for watching and do have a good one